making indie games live. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into Unity, into my game Father. And it's my first person shooter game. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to do three little secrets, three little tricks on how to make guns that are just sort of basic feel really, really good. So there's a couple tricks we're going to do. Um, so come on in and let's get started. By the way, guys, feel free to download my free 2D game kit below. It's totally free. It's my treat to you. I used this exact 2D game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and then I got to play it in front of his subscribers, <coughs> which was really awesome. Excuse me. Um, so download that. Use it however you want. It's my treat to you. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty then. So let's see here. Let me turn my camera on for you guys. What we're going to do is we're going to... First, let's talk about the three, okay? The three things, and I've got them written down here. The three things that are going to make my guns in Father feel good. And we're going to try and accomplish those today during this hour-long live stream. It's rare that I ever get what I'm expecting to get done done. And you guys know the feeling, probably. Um, the first thing we're going to work on is lighting effects. So... A, a point light that bursts every time you shoot. So we're going to specifically be working on the gravity gun. Every time we shoot the gravity gun, it bursts a, a flash of point light really fast. Okay. Our second thing we're going to do is add a unique variation to the gravity gun. So what I like to do, this is sort of a trick that I've learned, and it's it's not a trick. Uh, it's, it's more of something that people don't do because they feel like they're I get maybe too proud to do it. Um, this, that's normal for you to want to be a purist about uh, your game. But what we're going to do is we're going to just take a, a common weapon type, but we're going to twist that weapon type and make it more unique for this game. It's not going to be 100% unique. I'm sure this twist that we're going to put into the gravity gun uh, has been done before, but we're going to put it into the gravity gun. I'll, we'll show, <laughs> what am I saying? We'll show you that. I'll show you that. I'm not we. I've been watching uh, Lord of the Rings, by the way, so um, Gollum. Gollum speaks in plural. Uh, the third thing is, sorry, I'm rambling. The third thing is, what's the third thing? Screen shake, adequate screen shake to picking up items with the gravity gun and shooting items with the gravity gun. So we're gonna add that, and this is gonna make the gravity gun feel really, really good. So. Let me check on the chat, make sure everybody's happy. Are we doing good? Are we doing good, guys? How's the sound? How's the audio? Everything going good? Thomas looks like Aragorn right now. That's because I've been watching Lord of the Rings. I want to look like Aragorn. Um, sorry, I, and I, my hair is wet. It looks kind of weird. So uh, I apologize. I just, just got done with the S-H-O-W-E-R. I'm spelling that out because it feels awkward talking about that. Because um, it's morning here. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and get started. What am I talking about? Um, okay, so let me show you what we've got. I'm gonna pause the music. Why does Unity, what? What are you doing? So there's music playing randomly and I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, we'll just turn that off. Anyway, so let's hit play here and take a look. <sighs> okay so this is what we've got so far we've made a lot of updates so I i'd love to give you guys a little progress update for father um the first thing is we've got a lot of locked door types so this one's a blocked door it says the door is blocked so you have to move this with the gravity gun pretty cool so it's a new it's a new door type um we've also what have we done that's really a big deal right now we, oh, we've got distortion shader. Oh, who was that? Somebody sent me a distortion shader. Um, and I <laughs> I paid him a small fee. Let me find his name. But the, the here's the thing about the distortion shader that um, I didn't realize. There's certain settings you have to do in the, um, in, in the URP, and we're using URP. 
Um, and so he helped me, this individual, what's his name? Nils, Nils, Nils sent me, let's see here. Nils was so helpful, man. Thank you so much, Nils. Yeah, Nils. Nils um, sent me an email with the distortion shader and he'd created it with shader graph. So he just put it together, sent it to me, and he helped me implement it into the game. So we now have a distortion shader <coughs> in the game. Look at that. Oh, how pretty. And it's also true with the gravity gun. Look at that. Cool, huh? So thank you, Nils. Guys, can we give a round of applause emojis for Nils? I really, really appreciate his hard work. And I, I, uh, I did pay him. Uh, whatever he requested. It was a small fee. It was small, I'll admit. But he said, hey, you know, if you want to pay me, here's here's the fee. So I paid for it. Um, the the next thing we worked on, oh my goodness, we did so many things. Um, we've got a new storage facility down here. Pretty cool. So this is brand new. So this is Felipe. Felipe modeled all of this from scratch, put it together in Unity. And the man is a master. He did it so fast. If you want to follow Felipe, follow him below. So we've got a beautiful storage facility here. I just love it. And you go through the grate here and you come out on the other side. So Felipe, way to go, dude. Um, and also, this is important. What we've also got, so much has been done. And you know, I don't always live stream. So a lot of this, I'm, I'm not gonna live stream everything cause that would be chaos. Um, but right now what we've got is new locked doors and locked, uh, the, the colors of the doors are correspond to the key color associated with it. And it's just a simple drop down menu, which is really, really cool. Let me show you. Um, if we go to the door here, you can see <coughs> we now have a color associated with the key, which is down. Uh, no, yes. Okay. So we, you could, sh you could pick the color or even you can name the key, anything really, you could call it the, uh, the shield key or something like something you might see in resident evil. But it's all handled in something called a key manager. And this is a scriptable object. This was done by AJ. You can follow AJ below. AJ is the coder of the system. He basically just made Source Engine, which is amazing. Um, and he did that for me last year. But he helped me over the weekend because there were a few issues with this current version. Um, but what I did is I implemented a new color field here. And so you can change the color. And what it does, this is really cool, what it does is it actually... Uh, changes the light associated with the door. So there's simply a light. If I turn on, let's see here, one sec. Where is it? Lock. It's somewhere. There's a there's a light in this door. Let's let's double check. What? <laughs> <coughs> I think it's inside of something, maybe. <laughs> anyway, there's a light. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You can see it. You can see it. There's a point light right there pointing at the door or uh, positioned at the door. And that's actually just a silver lock, but it looks orange with a point light on it. So you can see it's locked. And so you have to go collect a key, and it push, opens up the door. Um, so lots of cool stuff that's been created. And this is – oh, and also – I uh, got all the pickups perfect. Um, man, let's, can I show you guys? I'm really excited about all this stuff. So um, there's a pickup, let me check the chat. I feel like I'm rambling here. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> so there's cool pickups now. So for example, you know, we could do a pistol pickup. Um, there it is. No, 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 let's do the pistol ammo. Ammo box pistol variant. So there's an ammo box for our pistol. Hey, there's also coins you can collect. These I need to redesign. Um, <coughs> now that's coin, yep, yep, yep. So let me show you guys. Uh, excuse me. So what we're doing here, eh, let's see here. And by the way guys, Hector's in the chat. Hector is the um, sound designer for the game. He's doing a ton of sounds. He's currently got a big old list that he's working on. Um, so welcome Hector to the chat. Hector's doing a lot of the sounds. Um, like this axe, although Hector, I know you said the axe sound is not updated. I need to update that. But look guys, look at this. You can collect coins, that's the theory at least, <laughs> whatever, uh, and ammo here. Look at that, and it shows up on screen, just like Half-Life. So pretty cool, I think that's just too, I, I put it in the ground, but whatever. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump right in. 
um, right on in to the gravity gun tweaks, okay? So right now, the gravity gun looks like the, um, the following. Here's what the gravity gun looks like. So this is the gravity gun. It's got that cool distortion effect, but, and it's got a nice little light at the tip, but I want, I want to make this thing feel amazing. So we're going to do all those game feel things I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the video. Let's go ahead and turn on the laser though. So currently it just looks like Half-Life. So this has to do with the second point, which is adding a tweak and a change to make it more unique for your game. I'm not saying that this is something that is completely unique. It's probably in a ton of games, to be completely honest. But the game I'm referencing and the most popular game of all time, according to IGN, is Half-Life. Um, not necessarily Half-Life 2, but Half-Life 1, I think. So I'm going to actually turn on my cool brand new script here. It's called the Lightning Bolt script. And this is something that was totally free on the Asset Store. Pretty amazing. Um, and so I'm going to turn that on. And this is the first step in making the gravity gun look awesome. Okay, and that is adding a tweak, just a visual tweak to make this gravity gun look, you know, different than Half-Life. So there's our little laser. Pretty cool, I like it a lot. Boom, look at that. Boom, boom. These don't break for some reason, but these guys do. Well, it should. <laughs> okay, there it goes. So we need to definitely tweak some of that script there. But, but by the way, guys, you know you definitely don't want feature creep to be a problem. <clears throat> and by feature creep, I mean constantly tweaking a weapon for no reason and making it look way too awesome. When in reality, you're making an indie game, you need to eventually move on and keep working. But with the gravity gun, I think it's really important that this thing is one of the hallmark features of the game. And so we're going to spend some time today making it feel really, really good, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into the first trick here. We added our lightning, that's cool. What we wanna do though, the first one is add some lighting effects to the position that the lightning is touching, um, is, is touching the barrel or the box. So this is gonna be tough. The reason why is because the light is going to be positioned in the center of the box, not necessarily the hit point of the box. So let's think through how we're going to do this, okay? So let's just go ahead and first set up the light at the end here, okay? So this is my lightning bolt prefab, and there's this lightning end game object here. And inside of that is a light, okay? I'm gonna remove the light flicker, we don't need that. A light, so this light is gonna show up at the lightning end point, it's basically just a line renderer, so at the end point, it's gonna be where the box is, okay? So let's figure out how to get this positioned decent. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I want it to shine where the lightning is touching the box, okay? So let's go to play mode here. I need to play focused. Okay, so that means it's gonna be showing the editor and the game. All right, so let's see here. Um, if I turn on, let's collect this here. It's a little dark. Uh, that one doesn't really work here. What about this one? Okay, so let's pause it. And let's figure out why we can't see the light because there is a light there, but we can't see it. So let's go ahead and jump into the gravity gun here. And you can see we have the gravity gun now being a instantiated inside of the gun mount position. Inside of the pivot point is the simple lightning bolt object here. There it is, okay. So for some reason it's disabled. Why is it disabled? I didn't even see that it was disabled. So that's, that's step one. Um, okay, it's disabled, <coughs> but also we need to take a look. We're gonna press F and we're gonna fly forward. There it is, so guys, check it out. There's my, uh, my character, right? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm just gonna pull this light here. Let's turn on the lighting. There we go, okay? So this light, for some reason, isn't rendering. Why? You know what? Why? There it is, but I can't see it here for some reason. 
There it is. <clears throat> so that looks cool. I actually really like that. Um, my theory is if you crank the intensity up really high, it'll glow. I don't know if that's what we want to do, but let's just try it out. Take a look. Hey, here we go. So there's that. You know what I want to do? Here's what we're going to do. I just figured it out. We're going to do like a, an intensity of one, okay? But it's going to be a big range. So, you know, maybe something like two. That's a, I, don't want it to, I don't want it to highlight anything else, though. That's the thing. So let's do 0.5 with a range of two, okay? Then inside of that, this might cause some hiccups when it comes to performance, but hey, I'm performing for you right now, so I prefer my performance right now in front of you over the performance of the actual game. <laughs> All right, let's make it a child and do an intensity like crazy, and but this one will be smaller, okay? Yay, there we go but crazy high intensity, so it almost looks like it's burning a hole into it. I kind of like that. Yet, it's it's not properly centered. Isn't that strange? And I'm changing the local position here. Uh, I think that's okay to do. We're in pause mode, we're gonna just save it, okay? That looks cool, but man, it's bright. I can't see anything else. I like that, but and there's also a delay, which I'm curious if it'll be there in the build, you know. Um, man, as cool as it looks, that delay is really bugging the hell out of me. I wonder if we want to <coughs> fix it. It's not really the point light that's the problem, you know. Um, so let's see if we can make it smaller. I like the glow. I think that's pretty sweet. So let's pause it. And let's go back into this point light here and make it pretty small, like 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Nope, 0 0.15, 0 0.12, 0 0.3. Look at that. What do we think, guys? I wish it would stay put, you know? It makes me think I need to make it a child of the box. It's that laser that's such a problem. Ugh. I wonder why that is. It could be it could be associated with the line renderers update. Um, I like the I like the point light. I really do. It, I am curious how it looks with other things though. Let's take a look. You can't see it on that, which makes sense. It's tiny. What about this friend? Okay, there it is. not perfect I think what we want to do is change it to a spotlight and then direct it from the gun is that a good idea guys let's try that okay we're gonna try that out so let's put it at uh, let's make it a spotlight there we go we're gonna pause it, okay? And let's go to the actual spotlight here. And I'm curious what would happen if we put it inside of the actual gun itself, or honestly, you could put it inside of the lightning start point, zero it out, zero out the rotation, set it to one, so we're nice in a nice starting point here. And I'm curious what it would look like if we made it a spotlight. So there's its rotation. So it's zeroed out. I don't want it to be global. There we go. So this is gonna be something like 90 degrees. Although that's, you could tell, yeah, that's wrong. It's pointing, it's pointing straight. Uh, and so what we should probably do is, is uh, change the rotation of the gun, the gravity gun. So I'm curious what this should be. Probably 180? No. Uh, let's see here. It needs to be something like that. 167. Yeah, the gravity gun is pointed straight now at the barrel. Um, so let's consider this. I'm, all I'm doing is trying to see what looks good. Once you figure out what looks good, 
um, you could try to make it work once you exit play mode here. There it is. Okay. Um, probably don't want <coughs> its range to be any bigger than 10. It's not the best solution, guys. I get that. Um, but it's not terrible either. Um, how do we make it smaller, this little boy? Ah, shape. That might do it. That kind of looks cool. I don't mind that. Ugh, it moves with the gun. Not a huge fan of it. I wonder if we want to instantiate it onto the barrel. It's probably what we should do. You know what? It sounds complicated. Or we could put it, actually, <coughs> we could put it right here. <coughs> Just put it inside the gravity gun itself. So that it doesn't move too much. Hmm. Or maybe put it inside the gun mount position. Yeah, we could try that. Hmm. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. What about the camera? So it's essentially a flashlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So let's take a look. So you just basically have a flashlight that turns on. That actually works okay. Um, yeah, you have a flashlight that turns on, and then it makes it look like it's uh, the laser's hitting the uh, box. So it's clearly off-center, right? So that, that makes sense. Um, we're going to fix that. So let's do that, guys. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and go into the gravity gun here. Thank you. <coughs> Many Tom. <coughs> Many Tom. Many Tom says the game is looking good. I appreciate it. That means a lot to me. So, what's what am I doing here? Ah, yes, delete. Sorry if you guys can hear my kid screaming. He's trying to go to sleep. So just keep that in mind. And by the way, I'm not on daddy duty. So my wife's got it. She's good. Don't stress and try and parent me. All right. All right, so let's take this flashlight. We're going to paste that, and we're going to stick it inside the um, the camera, actually. Pretty cool. And what we're going to do is take this flashlight here, and we're going to call this Gravity Gun Lightning Light. Okay. And I am not going to worry about turning it on and off right now. All I'm going to worry about is making it look perfect. Uh, it's not going to light the FPS weapons, but it's going to light everything else. I'm fine with it lighting everything else. Although, I do wonder. Pushable. There's a layer called pushable. Are they actually set to pushable? That's the question. They're not. Anything that's pushable is not set to that layer. So I wonder if we need to hit play. Maybe it'll do it by default for us at runtime. It does not. Okay, that's fine. So, yep, there's our gravity gun light. So, guys, let's go ahead and make it look good. All right. So let's do this. Let's hit play and then just pause it. Okay. And go to our scene. And go ahead and start setting it up. So let's shrink that. Bring the center all the way back. I'm going to hit F and fly in. There we go. I need a bigger monitor. I'm thinking about getting a widescreen or like a, those super widescreen ones, right? All right, so there it is. So 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 far so good. 
Uh, it's not really centered, is it now? It's because we need to zero out the Y. There we go. Oh, it's going to look good. And then we're going to increase. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then we can pretty much guesstimate that any, any object you pick up is not going to go. Oh, we got multiple angles here. Oh, I love it. Um, is not going to go beyond this point, right? So we're good. Hey, I think we should do incredibly high intensity so that it glows. We're getting there. 5,000, 10,000. What about 1 million? Wow, look at that. And I do wonder what it would look like if we just crank it. Look at that. Is this a big no-no, guys? Somebody tell me. Is it bad to set the intensity to a million? Because that looks freaking awesome. Um, Give me an answer. <clears throat> is it bad? Let's do some research. Guys, you're my uh you're my uh you're my team. Come on, go team. Find out if it's a problem to set intensity to such a high value. Well, I know it's too bright. I'm talking about performance. It's not bad for you, but it might be bad for your computer. Because it look like watch this. If we set the size to be tiny tiny like this one over here would be like two or three or four or five. Hold on. Ten. Oh, no. <laughs> two. Enter. Look at that. So Aloni Fox says it's fine. Well, Gordon, I, I, I agree. I totally agree. I just don't know if I want to do that because it might break. It might break the game. I, I'm not sure, sure. Guys, welcome Gordon to the chat. Gordon is my uh, Unity developer intern. He is interning with Atmos Games. And he's also my editor, <laughs> but he's a very brilliant developer as well. So I like that. I think that looks kind of cool. Um, and it doesn't really seem to be problematic to performance. What about this, friend? Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Okay, so what about this? Oh, look, we can see it. Isn't that cool? Now it goes on the, does it go on the walls? It doesn't really, but now, and the only light that's shining on the walls is coming from the tip of the gun. So I actually kind of like it. I just don't know if it's a big no-no. See, that's the thing, Gordon. We did it to the drawers, so I wonder if we set it <coughs> to the other pushable objects, then will it cancel out the drawers, you know? <coughs> Hector says, try the chair. I like it. I just don't know if it's okay. Is it bad to set a value to a freaking million? Uh, what about this here? Pretty cool. Okay, so if somebody's not showing up there, let's take a look and see why. <clears throat> I think it might be because of the uh, the back not really having any sort of metallic or something. I don't know. Let's take a look. So our spotlight is here. Where's our effing spotlight? Hold on. A lot of, a lot of lights here. All right, so we have one here. If I turned it around, what would it actually work? Take a look. No, interesting. Is it too far away? It might be. No, there it is. What? Yeah, I think it might be too far away. So, where did it go to? That's the ultimate question. <laughs> what the heck? It disappeared. Um, that's weird. Whatever. We're gonna pretend it didn't happen. Um, so I think we might want to make it a little longer. But I can't tell right now because whatever. Wait, what? Okay, so it's, it disappeared. <coughs> it looks great overall. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like, you know, maybe it won't be a problem. So let's just keep it in there. If we have performance issues, we have performance issues. And then we just, you know, we, we uh, figure it out later. So let's set it to Gunlight. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. What was it called? There it is. Gravity Gun. And we're going to set this to 1 trillion. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So it looks like there is a cap to its effect, like what it what it can do. So we're not gonna set it to a trillion. Um, but look at this. If you set it to something like one, two, three, one, two, three, is that a million? It's a million. If you set it to 10 million, and then you set, <laughs> and you set the, uh, I kinda like that. What do we think, guys? Help me out here. Do we like the way that looks? What do we think? Give me the answer, I wanna know. Do we like this? You guys are my test market. What do we think here? Hello, Benzai. Yeah, Gordon is working on the same project, yes. Uh, I think I like it. Um, looks good to you? Sweet. All right. So let's go ahead and copy the light itself, the entire effing thing. Make sure you do it. Edit. Copy, because we don't want to lose any of it. Um, and we're going to paste it in. Um, I'm going to just hit paste here. There it is. Good. Okay. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's ready to go. So that's gravity gun, lightning light. Let's see, test it again one more time. Make sure everything transferred over through the paste. Sometimes pastes don't work because they paste the wrong, look at that, look at my arm. Um, so there it is. So that's obviously, you know, we're gonna need to remove it if we're not picking up something. All right, like I said, we have a problem here. Looks like it's not centered up because of the, why? What, what the F? It didn't save it. Or did it? It's too bright. Okay, so when a flashlight is not on, it's really hard to see. I think it's because there's it's so bright over here. There's a I've got a window open, I've got a studio light, I've got a ring light, so I can't really see my monitor. But I think it looks pretty good. Um for some reason it's not centered. Smother effer. Hold on. Where's my freaking mouse? There we go. Zero. There it is. Okay, now, I mean, it's just just that one tweak is makes it all the difference. So let, <clears throat> let's set it to zero. Should the flashlight flicker with the lightning? Yes, yes, let's do it. So let's test that out. So I've got a flicker script, but I don't know if it works with spotlights so let's take a look max intensity 1 million uh minimum intensity we're gonna make zero and we're gonna have no smoothing okay great idea guys let's take a look <coughs> i've still got covid in my system what i what i mean is uh the results of it i had it two weeks ago so it's just still lingering so we got that looks cool. It's working. Okay, let's find the uh, the let's increase the intensity to a million. There we go. And then this it'll be something like we could do something like plus eight quadrillion, whatever that number is. There we go. So something like this. Is it flickering enough? You guys wanted to go a little bit higher? Okie dokie, we'll do uh, seven. Or maybe even six. So what, what that is, is what it's doing is we have a minimum intensity and a max intensity of like six quadrillion and then 10 quadrillion. 
and then we set the smoothing to zero basically i mean one is the minimum value and then so there's no smoothing and it's erratically going between the two randomly and by the way i didn't write the light flicker script i just typed in light flicker script on google and there it was right what do you think guys pretty cool i'm actually impressed with you guys that's a great idea thank you gordon and cb is that cb thank you i just love you guys so much it really means a lot to me that you're helping me out um i also love the color and i love the distortion effect i wonder if we can scale it yeah that looks freaking awesome what do you guys think I don't want to talk about vaccines, so let's not do that. Anyway, um, let's see here. I love you guys, but that's not what I want to talk about. Um, so that looks freaking awesome. I'm going to copy those values of the light flicker effect. Copy component. Paste component values. There we go. This is going to be great. Mm. All righty. Oh, trash. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Let's go. Let's go. So we're going to make this. <clears throat> disable when you turn on the gravity gun. Okay. Okay, by the way, the bolt between the box and the gun. Try putting it in a late update so when you turn it, it still attaches. I don't know if you can do that with a uh, line renderer. Oh, mother effer. Hold on. I'm not ashamed. I'm going to use Zevia to clean my glasses, and I'm going to pour it on my shirt. Okay, I just poured it all over my crotch. So anyway, um, late update when it comes to line renderer. I wonder if we can fix that. You guys want to search, Google search that for me and let's figure it out. <coughs> How to ensure there's no delay with a line renderer. Um, see if you can figure it out for me. This isn't working. The, the objects, that's a great question. The objects don't clip. There's water everywhere. I'm covered in Zevia. Um, that's fine, I guess. Um, the water, not the water, the, the clipping is done with some crazy algorithms. Um, and the, it does clip, actually. So it's not as robust as Half-Life's engine, but it does the job. If there's any crazy clipping, it will turn red, and the, the object will turn red, and, so, and you can't shoot it so that you can't shoot through walls. <clears throat> That's the theory, at least, but I'm sure we'll get plenty of people saying they figured out how to do it. All right, guys. Um, what was I doing? Let's, let's make sure the gravity gun lightning looks good, and then, um, then we need to have it turn on and off. Okay, So let's do that. Pretty cool flickering, I like that. It's just when you're in a dark area, it's pretty obnoxious, you know? But when you turn your flashlight on, it's not as obnoxious. So, the theory is, the theory is, <clears throat> we'll combine the flashlight. I, I don't know if I wanna do that. Oh, Thomas Brush. What's going on here? Let's just let's just do let's just turn it on for now. Okay. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm just my brain. Um so what we're gonna do is first thing we need to do is create a reference to this. So we're gonna go inside of the player weapon controller. 
What do you think, Gordon? Which 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 class should we put this reference in to the gravity gun lightning light? Let's find where a lot of references are. You can put it anyway, anywhere, really. Um, but I think the weapon controller is ideal. Gordon, if you have a different idea, let me know. Just know that I'll disagree with you and lose respect for you. So just letting you know. Um, player weapon controller here. We're going to go to the, re the references. Yes. And we're going to do... I say let's just take get a nice light reference here. No, no reason to do a game object when you can just do the component. So we're gonna do a light and we're gonna call this gravity gun. It'll be it'll well, yeah it needs to be public. Public light. Who knows the difference between public and private? Obviously most of you probably know this, but inform the rest of us. Why would you use a public as opposed to a private? Go. Public light. Um, lightning. What is it called? Gravity gun, lightning flight. Bang, bong, bang. Gordon, I'm glad you agreed with me. And I know you're being honest because I didn't threaten you. I wanted your honest opinion. Um, okay, next thing we do is now that we have that, all we got to do is go to the demo gravity gun and lightning bolt set active true what that also means is we go to there we go we take this here and we say lightning gravity gun lightning light dot set active set light dirty what the game object dot set active to true dude apparently you can do set active recursively still you guys remember set active recursively that was an old one that was a long time ago. And I remember when they changed the set active functionality, I was so thrown off. Uh, hey, we can do it here as well. Um, set active to false. I think that'll do it, guys. Gordon. <laughs> Gordon says, don't use that. Gordon, you're fired. I will no longer sell, send you your paycheck. Um, <laughs> stop it. Oh, we need to have it uh, disabled by default. And we also need to set the reference. We need to actually drag it into the reference. No, serialized field is not preferred, guys. Wrong, wrong. This is the first time I'll be right over you guys because you guys are usually pretty smart. Serialized field is not preferred because serializing a private variable does not make it somehow public to other game objects. We need it public to other game objects. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to turn it on from another script, which is what we just did. I win. See? I win. Um, let's see here. And it feels good because you guys have been, <laughs> you guys have been winning for a long time. Um, what am I doing? Oh yes. Let's go to our, there it is. Bing. Also, I'm going to apply this Gordon. Sorry if I'm overriding your prefab changes, if you did any to the FPS, but I did, I, I went ahead and merged the, the branch. Gordon Arbor says Thomas is right. That's because Gordon knows that if he disagrees with me, he'll be fired. I, I meant to say that's because Gordon is smart. Um, there we go. Hey. All right. So it's pretty freaking bright. Let's see if we can drop it down a bit. My, my goodness gracious. It could be that the range we could just shrink a little bit. But that looks freaking awesome. I love it. And it's cool because it shows up on pretty much everything. The only question I have is the oh. bookcase over here. Let's take a look. It just doesn't show up on the bookcase. Isn't that strange? So let's hit pause here and go to scene. I 
don't know why it is, Harry. I don't know. Uh, it's set to player. Ah, for some reason it's set to player. So we need to ensure that the it is targeting everything except for the gun. You know, I don't want it to target everything though. I just want it to I, it target pushable objects. Gordon, do we want to try this? Um, and set the layer to pushable by default. Brian says it correctly. If you do not need things globally visible to all scripts, but accessible to those that know about the object, you can try using internal instead of private. Ooh, I didn't know about that at all. All right, Gordon told, is telling me that he doesn't want it to be changed. Okay, so we're not going to change it. Uh, uh, let's see here. Harry, what, what do you want to do today? What am I working on? Oh, yes. The, um, yeah, we want this gravity gun light. We want that to be, yes, yes. Uh, culling mask. Everybody set to player. So for some reason, let's turn off the light because I can't see. Pushable. Is that what it's, is that what the problem is? It's set to pushable? Huh. No, but that can't be it. Because everything else is set to pushable as well. No, it's not. Okay, so <laughs> let's um, turn it off. Gordon, do wait. Gordon, can you let me know? Do I need this to be set to pushable? You can set, you can let me know in Discord because the chat's taking forever. Um, Gordon, do I need this to be set to pushable, or can I set it? Because we do have a drawer. There's a drawer in here, by the way, Gordon. I don't know if you know that, but guys, Gordon's been working on the drawer script for us. A good man. Um. So can I set, can I, wait, 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 what, what the, whoa, it just changed to default all of a sudden. But that's set to pushable. Interesting. Oh, Gordon, uh-oh, the drawer is not part of this. So if we pick it up, the drawer will stay put. So that's probably one of the reasons why that's happening. Wow. Okay, so this is set to pushable. We can keep it at set to pushable. Let's let's take a look at the uh, gravity gun light and is it culling the pushable layer? It is not. So for some reason, we don't need to change it, but thank you, Gordon. Yes, it has, Gordon says, yes, it has to be pushable. It adds to it on pickup. Oh, cool, good, good to know, buddy, okay. Sweet. So Gordon is saying that when we pick this up, he's written a script where this drawer here gets parented to this object, which is good news. So I don't know why. Why is it not showing up on this guy? So let's, uh, let's see if we can figure it out. I, Gordon, I do want to check and see if these, I'm not trying to publicly do this. So let me know really quick in the Discord. Do you mind if I try the drawers out, Gordon? I'm going to try it. Hey, it works. Sweet. Oh, way to go. Gordon, you're the best, buddy. Let's try it out. I don't think this works, though, right? Yeah, okay. The drawer is, is still there, which is totally fine. I know you're still working on that, and that's something I can't even figure out myself. So <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> All right, so now it's showing up. And it's also, wait, 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 there's so many things that are wrong right now. Ah, uh, on drop, we need to disable it, okay. What? Oh, it's the LOD, that's what it is, okay. The reason why this shelf is, is disabling is because of the LOD. So this LOD group needs to be moved to box 02. Bing, bong, bang. Copy this, whoops. 
remove, paste. <clears throat> Thomas wins again. So that's one thing. Um, the next thing is, yeah, let's do this. We need to go to our script here and we need to set it active to false anytime we are using reset object. There's one. There's another. We need to clean up a script really quick. I have a problem here. But I think I should do it on another day. Guys, can we give a round of applause emojis to Gordon for doing such a good job with the the drawer script? The drawer is now open, which is it believe it or not, it was a very complicated task because you're you're basically ray casting through the pick upable objects because we got to hit the pick upable objects right with a ray cast be able to pick them up but inside of them is also a drawer that we need to ray cast and those are inside the box collider so we don't want to use mesh colliders so it's it's actually a very complicated task and i've asked gordon i said gordon i want you to also be able to ray cast into the through the box through the box collider into the drawer and then through the drawer box collider into <laughs> a pick up of an object like a coin or some kind of uh, ammo. So he's doing a really good job. So way to go, Gordon. Um, what am I doing? Ah, yes. So the, the, the lightning is being reset all over the place. So there's like three places it happens when you drop, when you, put, when you shoot, and when you're like, there's an error or something. There's another one. Okay, so that's good. All right, let's try this out. So we're, we're checking for two things, guys. First thing we're checking for is, hey, is the light disabling when we right click um, and drop the object? That's the first question. The second question is where's the damn light when we actually go to this object? It was just there. So it looks like it's just not long enough. And for some reason, this is farther away than most objects. I don't know why. I'm not so sure, Harry. So that's good. Let's try out the drop. The drop works. And by the way, Hector, buddy, if you're still in the chat, I just incorporated one of your sounds. It's this drop sound. Pretty cool, huh? I love that sound. Okay. All right, so that's what we need to do. Uh, let's, go, let's go ahead and grab this big boy here. Take a look. Um, let's pause it. And then we're going to go to the actual object over here. And we're going to take a look and see. That's perfect. This side view here. Um, remember, we have the gravity gun light here. Um, yes, yes. And its range is, well, that's not the range, actually. So let's go to the actual range here. There it is. OK. So it's, yep, yeah, it's too short. Um, I don't know why this is further away than the box. My only guess is that its center point is incorrect. Let's do this. Global, pivot. Nope. Is there a way in the pushable object script to take a look and see object holding offset? What's its default? Yeah, it really has to do with the size, and I don't want to mess with that. Because if some objects are much bigger, AJ wrote a script and he pushes them away so that we can see better. So every object you pick up generally occupies the same amount of screen space. So there's an algorithm there that I don't want to mess with. We could write a script that sets the range of the gravity gun lighting here to get all the way over here. Of course, I don't want to do that, do I? So let's see if we can do something like this. That's about as big of an object you can pick up. So I like the range, was it the range that I just changed? I like it, yep, it's being set to 8.5, nice clean number. So there it is. All right, guys. So let's set it to 8.5 and that's that should fix it. I mean, it really shouldn't even, it's not gonna pass through anything and I also don't want it to, Cast shadows. Yeah, no shadows, good, it's set, that's set up properly. Sweet guys, let's test it out.
There it is. Uh-oh. It's still showing up for some reason. I think I know what it is. But let's test it out. Bing! Okay, so shooting for some reason doesn't disable it. Yes, but it's not good. That's not correct, Harry. Did we ever figure out what's going on with the line renderer? Guys? Okay, and I also want everything to break immediately. That's another game feel issue. Let's get this laser working, though. No, the beam is not a particle system. It's a line renderer. Okay, okay. So, what am I doing? Ah, uh, yes. For some reason, it's not disabling upon shoot. So let's take a look, Harry. Um, Harry. What am I doing? Demo gravity gun. Uh, right here. Set active false. Oh. Attempt throw pickup object. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. <laughs> um, <clears throat> every time I hear that, I think about the that episode from our from last year. <sighs> Whatever. Um, I, that should do it, guys. Welcome to Dan Roy. Dan has been very kind to me. Um. Dan and, I, Dan and I had a good conversation, didn't we, Dan? A little text conversation. I really want them to break, you know? I wonder if I can just... Uh, and and that's, that's part of the next game feel we're going to do here. Um, so the screen shake isn't isn't big enough. So that's the next thing we want to do here, guys. That looks great, honestly. I really love it. Um, let's double check, make sure it works with this friend here. It does. So overall, we are in a good, good, good position here. Did we ever figure out what to do with the line renderer? Let's see if the line renderer offers some sort of setting for late update. Let's double check. I wouldn't recommend using a particle system necessarily for a trail. You should just use a line renderer. Uh, something like that, yeah. And, and I didn't write this script. I just downloaded it from the asset store. It's totally free. Guys, seriously, whenever you're wondering, I don't know how to write this script, I'm going to try and figure out a tutorial to write the script. I would recommend just find one on Google. Type in line renderer lightning script. And it probably already exists. You can just plug it into your game and it's going to work. All right, so <clears throat> let's take a look at this lightning line renderer. Generate, there's, there's a few settings here that we can take a look at here. Yeah, loop, no. Yeah, yeah. I think we might need to do it here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. We have this lightning bolt script. Let's open this up and see if we can put it inside of the late update. And I did not write all this. I didn't write any of it actually. Is there an update script, you mother effer? What's going on? Update line renderer. Oh, where's that happening? <clears throat> in update. So you guys were saying put it in late update. You think that'll that'll do it? And um it's not happening in update. Where is it happening? Where is this happening? Update line renderer. Oh, it might be the update count. So, okay. It's happening in trigger. And trigger is happening inside of update. Good, good, good. Ah, uh, yes. The start position. Yep, okay. So there's some sort of timer here. I see. Okay. So what the script is doing that's not necessarily what I wanted. 
is it looks like <clears throat> the duration is set to 0 0.03. I see, yes, yes. So if we set that to zero, which looks like we can't, I'm curious, the, the start object, we could, the start and the end object, those need to be happening at like zero duration. You don't want any delay, but everything else is fine. I think that's totally fine to delay. So what we do is, ah, oh, yes. There it is. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. Uh, there it is. Um, so what I want to do is in update, I want this start object to equal the start position. Now, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. This right here. Yes. This. I believe. <clears throat> Vector three, start and end. Okay, we need those. We need those here. But we also need what's going on here? Hold on. Hmm. Man, guys. I don't fully understand this script. So what we're going to do here is, yeah, start position should not be changing. Um, start object dot transform dot position plus start position. Why? The start and end positions should not, they shouldn't be doing anything. I'm gonna, hold on, just give me a sec here. I don't want those to change. The start and end positions, they, they shouldn't change at all. Um, the only thing that should happen is in update, the start object.transform position should equal pass through a value here. We're going to pass through a value, start, and then, <clears throat> uh, what am I doing here? Sorry, is it comma? <laughs> Thomas. And then another vector three, and it's end. Okay, good. Delete these. Ah, yes, very good. Now, hmm, now, what we do, is up here in the update this will happen um yes okay yeah okay start and end that's fine uh and start and end are established here okay so uh, vector three start equals start object. Why is it capitalized? I don't like that. Hold on. Why would you capitalize that? Where's the start? In, uh, there it is, start object. Okay, it's capitalized for some reason. Okay, I don't know why you would capitalize that. Anybody know why that would be capitalized? Maybe it's some syntax that I don't understand. So there's start and then, hey, there's the end object as well. It's gonna work, guys. I think I figured it out. And this is called end. And finally, what we do is what we do <laughs> what am I doing here? Generations, okay.
me just a sec, guys. Ah, yes. This right here. We're not changing. Mm. Oh, what am I doing here? I got it. I got it. Okay. Line renderer uh, dot position set position the index yes <clears throat> which is zero and then we set it to start and then we also set the last position which is going to be line renderer dot positions position count and it's going to be end so only the start and the end positions of the line renderer are being updated in the update so it's fast Everything else, though, is going to be associated with this timer. That's the theory. That's the theory. A lot of people like to syntactically capitalize public fields. You know, that's problematic to me because I like to capitalize my nothing. Um, except for like a class. So I guess I'm just confused. Because C Sharp has standards. <laughs> That's funny. Um, you guys want to try it out? Let's take a look. Private fields are underscored and local fields are camel case. Whatever. You're probably right. Line to our set position index out of bounds. Well, none of that worked. <laughs> Isn't that surprising? Well, you know, maybe it did a little bit. I don't know, man. Why didn't it work? Can we figure it out, guys? Well, we were, obviously we're getting, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, it's because we're getting an error. Now, let's take a look at the error. I believe the error error is error is associated with the this one here. Probably needs to be position count minus one, maybe. <sighs> and then end. Yet the truth is, I've just figured it out. Okay. Yes. Okay. So really, we shouldn't have that many wiggling lines. We should have like four. And then what you want to do is, because what's happening is the second the second in uh, position is the, the, the first and last position aren't even visible anyway. So what we need to do <clears throat> is go to our weapon, our gravity gun, gravity gun. There it is. And what we do is we go to the lightning bolt prefab and it looks like we have four generations. That doesn't make sense. Cause I, I saw more than that. But let's go to the color here. Okay, here's the color. Um, we're gonna do 100% over here. In fact, we're gonna do 100% all the way across. Let's test it out. You guys ready? Late key, late update is the key to success. Well, not necessarily. It's it's one of them, and we'll try it. But I wanted to try this first. The reason why is because there is a counter inside of this script and it will only update based on the counter. So the update isn't really a problem currently. Okay. So I, I'm curious if it's faster for sure. Now we do have another error here with the line renderer. Let's take a look. Line renderer set index out of bounds, you mother upper. Okay, let's see here. Trigger start end, Where, why is it out of bounds? Line renderer zero, but it, why? Maybe it's because it initially it didn't have any. So let's take a look. Yeah, initially it didn't have any. Okay. Let's see here. So let's fix that really quick. All we gotta do is uh, if. Dogecoin is down 5%. I've been losing so much money in Bitcoin and crypto. 
it's been really bad so yeah um yes let's fix that error so all we got to do is if line render dot position count does not equal zero right and then we just snack or smack <coughs> that into the code and we should be good <sighs> hit play take a look here Did I get the error again? Oh, good. No, I didn't. Okay. So now we're going to try late update. Although I do want to try something really quick here. If I change the lightning <clears throat> to only like one piece. So there's like, it's broken into pieces essentially. Um, currently we have 16 positions and that to me, we should be able to change that generations how many generation how man you generations higher numbers create more line segments well what if i want zero okay so even still with just zero we're still not seeing a good uh functionality here i'm curious if that script i wrote is even working so let's turn this off completely here I believe it should. So, yeah, let's take a look. Let's let's remove all that. I believe it should. Okay, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. And that is a good question. Ah, yes, it's because the line render position count is zero. So that's the reason why. So let's test this out really quick. I'm gonna set it to two. Um, and I'm gonna have two, those two positions available <clears throat> just to test out and see if the start and end positions are being set correctly. Um, if, if they are, then the problem is late update and we need to set it to late update. That's that's the goal. So let's set it to two positions. What's this loop? Connect the first and last vertices to create a loop. No, we don't want to do that. Set it to two. Now it should do it. Yes, and, and change the index to one instead of position count. Why? I don't agree. Because we're trying to get the last one, right? You're saying just set it to one? But there's like, there's like 30 positions. Not currently, but mate, you could be right here. Let's take a look. So mother effort didn't even do it. So let's take a look here why let's take a look at the laser we've got a size up that's because it's probably happening in start there it is yes 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 harry okay so hopefully i memorize or remember all the things i'm screwing up here Bonsai, do you do you agree with me now that I've clarified? Is the, am I correct? You wouldn't set the end position to one. You'd set it to the amount of positions because there's like 16 positions being created. There it is. Okay, so good. Now we know. Now we know that it's with all of the fixes I've added, we still need to do late update. <clears throat> so that's good to know. And also... It's not really moving. Yeah, it is. 
with the animation. I, I thought it wasn't moving with the animation. Okay, good, bonsai. Let's do late update. I wanted to make sure before I changed the update. So that's why we did all that crap. Um, but this wouldn't have worked had we not changed out the, uh, the way in which the first and last positions were being set. Okay? All right. What did I remove? In start, I removed something. I'm trying to remember. I needed to go backwards. Okay, that's good. Now let's do late update. You guys ready to take a look and see? <clears throat> Always do la up late update with line renderer. Okay. If you guys are wrong, I'm going to make fun of you. So here we go. Oh, that felt good. You're wrong. It didn't work. I'm just messing with you guys. Let us try. Yeah, that's not working. Um, man, that sucks. I'm curious if it if it'll work. Yeah, I'm curious if it'll work with a higher frame rate. Just the set position to late update? You think it should be fixed update, huh? Just this, huh? But that doesn't make any sense because that should be too as well. You know? So... I mean, that's fine. We can do that. So this will be update. And you're saying this should be uh, you think it should be fixed update? <clears throat> try it once. Try what once? Late update. We'll, do, we'll try late update. No, the line render is not using any physics. So late update, huh? Okay, so you're saying just put it there. It's still would. It's not gonna make any difference, regardless of just putting this there. But I understand why you want to do that. Uh, um, timer should not be in late update. That's fine. Keep the positions in update. These? Are you sure? That makes no sense to me. That makes absolutely no sense. It makes no sense. <clears throat> to me, it makes no sense to me. I, I don't understand why we would why we would worry about um, Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, um, put the vector three in update. Hmm. Okay, we'll try it, but we need that um, information. So we're gonna probably have to make it like a public variable or something. Um, so we'll, what we'll probably do is call it start and end. Yeah, we can just put it there. Um, up here, right? So we could do vector. We'll make a pr um, vector three. Start vector three, and hope that doesn't conflict with anything. I don't even know if that's going to fix it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Jason's story, I trust you. Not that I don't trust the other individual. Let us let me try again. I trust you way more than every single game developer on the planet. 
Then put the lime in the coconut. Well, that's not very helpful. <laughs> Okay, I, I see the the logic there, Banzai. Banzai, well, I, I can kind of see it. So, does this is this what you're saying, buddy? You're saying start and end should be here. You put the lime in the coconut. Okay, I gotta head out here pretty soon. I got a birthday lunch with my mom. All right. You have a coffee on the way, Jason, so you, you're not going to be helpful. Let's take a look and see. No. Still nothing, Harry. Whatever. I, I wonder if it'll work in a build, you know? It could. So we need to figure out why it's not perfectly connected. Uh, let's try this really quick. <laughs> let's try Googling it. Line renderer not updating fast enough. Unity. Line renderer positions not updating. I'm using a distance joint and line renderer to draw. Everything works perfectly except that when the line is that once the line is drawn, the positions are stuck. Um, that's not gonna help. How to update line renderer start and end positions at runtime. Um, no. <laughs> fixed update. You guys were saying fixed update. Try fixed update. Oh, that's potentially true. Ah, yes, there's our issue. We could try this first. Bonzi, you were probably saying that in the chat. I'm, I apologize. Put late? What are you talking about? I did. Oh, put late. Ha! <laughs> That's probably it. Let's take a look. Thank you, guys. The board is fixed. Correct the name. Okay, let's try it out. We are so close, my friends. You're telling me that update isn't spelled with two P's? You guys are crazy. Update makes it more intense and more, uh, well, faster. I do hope it works too. I, I, I really want to see it nice and smooth. Nope. <sighs> yeah, it's just, it's, I think it's just because that's the nature of the line renderer. So, I mean, that the theory is what we could do, guys, is just not rely on it that much. And the way that you would do that is you would just fade it out slowly as it comes toward the gun, which I'm not opposed to. I and mean, we could try that really quick and then I gotta go get lunch with my mama. Um, my mom is great, I love my mom. She's sweet as pie. Let's hit play. Try late update, I just did. Now try fixed update. Is the line renderer set to world space or local space? You had fixed update, spelled it wrong, so try it again maybe? All right, well let's take a look and see how this looks first. So that's, that's, that's what it looks like when it sort of fades out, which isn't horrible. Um, it's not great either. Okay, let's see here. All right, we'll try fixed update, you morons. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. 
Okay, is that how you spell fixed? Fixed update. There we go. The fade looks like it fits the style. I know, Banzi, you keep saying that, and I love you, but we're gonna try it anyway. I know it's for physics, I know. Okay, so Banzi was right, but we're just testing it out, all right? So we're gonna keep all of this in the update and just call it a day, uh, call it a day. If you're using Cinemachine, it's a problem with the update rate. Yeah, what we're gonna do is just set it to fade more, and then we're gonna call it a day, and I'm gonna go eat um, P.F. Chang's with my mom. We do something like that. Drop down the alpha. There we go. That's the theory, so let's take a look. Jason is right. One way or another is not fixed update. Its tick rate is too slow. No, that there's no tick rate. What are you talking about tick rate? What are you talking about? Are you talking about this? The timer here? What is this? Move. What are you talking about, Jason? What's the tick rate? What's the tick rate? Are you talking about something associated with the script? Uh, line renderer, tick rate, I don't know. Jason's story. Yeah, Jason, what you talking about, buddy? Okay. That doesn't look bad. I think I'm just going to keep that. It's pretty cool. It does kind of fit the style, toony style. So that's fine. It's not it's not the best thing you've ever seen in your life. Benzi says rewrite the code. No, I'm good. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I know we didn't get a lot done today. I mean, we got... Uh, I'm pleased. It's just we didn't cover the other two game feel um, things. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'm going to go grab some lunch. Peace. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, click below, it's my treat to you. I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days and I actually got to play it with him in front of his audience, which is really cool. This game kit is totally free. It's my treat to you and you can use it however you want. You can make a commercial game and make a million bucks off this game kit. I don't care. Or you could just use it for a hobby project. It's my treat to you. And by the way, if you haven't clicked like, that would mean Mohawk. Me. hit subscribe. And also this is Goal. important. Hit that notification bell. Here's why. If you get notified of when I'm live, Shout out. you can watch me make my next game. And let me know in the chat what you think about the game or any ideas you have. And you might just show up. Your chat might just show up in the next video that I upload. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I love you too.